Hi guys, how you doing? Senior Gaming here and in today's episode I'm bringing you Psychic Idol and I want to tell you how to get more CP. So if you're Psychic Idol player or perhaps Idol Gamer then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. And if you enjoy what you see then smash this like button as well. Right then guys, so what I want to address today is give you some of these tips that will boost your CP significantly. And I'm talking here finding the areas of the game where we're going to talk about extra percentage, which will boost our progress, or we're talking about these crucial multipliers. So in comparison to many RPG games, it's not only about to get to as strong location as possible, kill the strongest monster and then get that goal to keep upgrading your stats. You have to be much more diversified in here to then contribute to your overall CP growth. And I'll address that in just a second. So let's kick off with a first up growth in here. And the growth, the very first one, it's obviously where you actually spend that gold I have mentioned earlier. Obviously you want to hit as much attack as possible as every single game will always benefit you from having high attack because you're gonna get further down the content of the game. But actually I believe monster research, which is directly linked to in-depth research, it's even more important. That's why you actually see me killing all these zombies in chapter two, because this main ability multiplier is just so, so important to grind. So I already know, despite how powerful I am, I can, as you see, I can already grind pretty much all the last monsters in a chapter five. I'm actually grinding chapter two, because I know in order to grow much, much stronger, it's not all about sitting and killing pretty much all these monsters and getting gold. I have to keep increasing this multiplier. And once you multiply your main ability, this is the key how you're gonna grow your CP. So therefore, I'm fully aware I will be spending here days, if not weeks, to actually kill some monsters in chapter one, two, and so on and so on. Obviously, Enlighten and Quantum Jam, you'll be investing into those the moment you've got your uh, resources and ability is also gonna be massively, massively important. And the reason for it is what I mentioned, either multiplier or percentage. So as you see in here, we got these massive multipliers where currently I managed to get some attack speed, attack defense as well, as this is obviously getting more expensive, the more you are gonna lock out. Critical rate is also very good and also I have now boosted my critical effect. I'm not saying this is a best case scenario and this is something you should take example of, but I believe these uh, stats are not bad and definitely help me uh, growing further up. Special ability, this is something you're gonna unlock in a pretty later stages of the game, and I would say with a low percentage to start off, you could not really see massive benefits when you just unlock it. Obviously in the later stages, when you have it on a good level, then you will start seeing some perks. Okay, so out of growth, as well, the next thing is gonna be, it's gonna be your equipment. And it's same principle apply here, and this is where I got it, you've got that set effect. So if I scroll all the way down now, as you see, I have now managed to pretty much close everything on the rank U, U, U plus, and now it's gonna be L set. So basically where I'm aiming with that, you want to pretty much start collecting the whole set rather than moving into a next uh, possible grade. So as mentioned earlier, it's not about getting as strong as possible and farming in the strongest area. So therefore I'm not going for as strong as possible weapon and pretty much leaving everything behind because as you see in here, we've got these multipliers, which I told you are so, so crucial. So you wouldn't be point pretty much of getting all the way to let's say a triple L plus and having a great weapon whilst actually collecting L set and LL set will give me so much more power because as you see, these are the further multipliers I can unlock. Obviously nano machine, every single time you will be collecting it, it's important to keep investing. Obviously as much as you can, scroll all the way down and unlock this most pressure boosts. As you see, we're talking here thousand percent, obviously against some of the little percentage with a lower values. Drone itself, again, it will be no brainer. You will keep progressing with that computer as well. And then amplifier got a good percentage as well. Uh, but this will then boost your overall growth. But I think in this section, mainly I would definitely focus on set effects as again, you've got these great multipliers. And finally, we're gonna move over to a superpower. Same principle in here, as you see, set effects. And in here, 
you got also main ability boost, but rather than multiplier, we've got this precious percentage. So it's important, obviously, either you go and summon your superpower, or I'm still under impression that you should now and then purchase some of the uh, superpowers for 10,000 uh, diamonds, aka rubies. I'm not saying to buy a low tier one, but the high tier one are very hard to get. And where I'm when I'm going with this, if we actually tap on summon and superpower, you actually can see your summon rate. So if we scroll pretty much all the way down, as you see on a current level, what level I am now, currently level six. So if I flick into that, so as you see, even if I want to have uh, pretty much one of the last option, I'm not even talking here a, you know, half percent, I'm talking here a percent pretty much on all these options. Therefore, I'm thinking in order to get quicker with your set effects, especially on the lower tiers, you will have to invest these 10,000 diamonds and try to get. So obviously if I will find now um, one of these skills, hyper focus, I would not hesitate and spend 10,000 because then this way I can invest more and create another set to boost this main ability. So once again, what you have actually witnessed is set effects when it comes to superpower, main ability times percentage. We're talking equipment and a set effects to get that main ability X and then also same time you will be grinding and enjoying yourself in chapter one despite how powerful you are so you can also get a little bit of multipliers when it comes to your main ability and only this way then when you invest anything else when it comes to investing gold and other aspects of the game that cp will keep growing massively so that will be it guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section how you're getting on and if you need any more help, what is your current CP so we can as well compare it uh, where you currently are on a rank. And as always guys, I will see you next time.